My lips and cheerful heart prepare to make your mercies known. Come all that fear my God and hear the wonders God has done. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is evening prayer for Friday, August the 16th. It's the 12th week after Pentecost and week six in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 107, verse 1 to 22, and Mark chapter 10, verse 46 to 52. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Most High, for God is good, and God's mercy endures forever. Alleluia. Psalm 107. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Most High, for God is good. God's mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed proclaim that God delivered them from the hand of the enemy. God gathered them out of the lands from the east, the west, the north, and the south. They wandered in the wilderness, and they found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their souls fainted within them. And then they cried to the Most High in their trouble, and God delivered them from their distress. And God led them by the right way to a city where they could live. O oh, people, give thanks to the Most High for God's goodness towards the children of the earth. God satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry with goodness. Some sat in darkness and the shadow of death, being afflicted with illness and bound in iron, because they rebelled against the words of God and had contempt for the counsel of the Most High. And therefore God humbled their hearts with hard labor. They fell down and there was none to help. And then they cried to the Most High in their trouble, and God saved them in their distress. God brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and broke their bands asunder. O oh, people, give thanks to the Most High for God's goodness towards the children of the earth. For God has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Fools are afflicted because of their sins and iniquities, and they abhor all banner of food and draw near the gates of death. And then they cried to the Most High in their trouble, and God delivered them from their distress. God spoke and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. O oh, people, give thanks to the Most High for God's goodness toward the children of the earth and let them make sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare God's works with rejoicing. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Most High, for God is good. God's mercy endures forever. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 10, beginning at verse 46. And then they came to Jericho, and as Jesus and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Call him here. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. And then Jesus said, What do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said, My teacher, let me see again. And Jesus said to him, Go, 
your faith has made you well. Immediately, Bartimaeus regained his sight and followed Jesus on the way. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold us now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, O tender God. Have mercy. Show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, O God, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. And for all of your intentions. <clears throat> our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh, beloved God, we thank you for your goodness to all creation. You redeem us from the hands of our enemies and deliver us from oppression and sorrow. May we ever seek you in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.